What's going on YouTube? And today I want to talk to you guys about the top five things I want to see in Black Ops 3. So right now it is the Xbox One Black Ops 3 beta. So I do have kind of a general understanding of what the game is going to be like. But these are five things that I really want to see actually in the release in November. So number five would be the balance and specials. Um, lately I've played a lot of Destiny and the specials in Destiny are extremely overpowered. You can take out a whole team with one Nova bomb if you time it right. So I want it to be in Call of Duty that we're not really necessarily paying a lot of attention to the specials. I think that they complement certain game styles really, really, really well. But I don't want it to be emphasized that specials is the big thing in this game. So I think as of right now in the beta, everything seems really, really balanced, but there also are a couple specials that are locked during the beta, so I'm not sure how that will play out. But as of right now, everything does have a decent balance, and I hope they really honestly carry that over into the game when it does release. Now, getting to number four, I really am enjoying the small and medium maps. If anyone remembers Turbine and Black Ops 2, I literally could have raged so many times and thrown my controller across the room. I, I really tend to not like sniper alley type maps. If you're going to have something like that where snipers are going to go and kind of perch up, at least make it so that someone can kind of flank around without still being picked off by a sniper. And I think as of right now, um, the maps play really well. There's a lot of like wall running spots in this, uh, in the beta maps that is. And I think that the flow of the maps are really, really solid, and I hope they keep to about the same size as we're seeing right now. I think the moving mechanics makes you slightly faster, but it's nowhere near Advanced Warfare's moving mechanics. So we don't necessarily need a larger map, like how you would have seen in Advanced Warfare or maybe even Destiny. And I think we can play these maps really well without having to sacrifice a lot of sniper ability, because there is still a large community of people that are going to come on and snipe. So... Getting to number three, I hope the spawn locations do improve. Now, as I said before, this is a beta. I don't expect it to be absolutely perfect, but the spawn locations in it so far have been kind of iffy. Now, I usually don't play TDM. I try to play mostly Domination and Hardpoint and things like that. So I've been playing strictly Domination in the beta. And even with saying that, I could be on a home flag spawn and get killed. I, I posted a video, I think yesterday, where I literally spawned, turned to my left, there was a guy already shooting, and I killed him. And it's like, I, I don't want to see that. I don't want to see, like, how Infinity War did in Ghosts, where I could literally sit there and watch you spawn and pick you off as you spawn. It, it becomes almost unfair. So, if I don't even have enough time to get up and react, like, 100% of the time, it, it becomes an unfair fight, and that makes it really hard for me to want to play the game, so... I hope spawns do get improved. Um, I'm sure they're going to be working on a lot of that coding and things before the game releases and after the game. So Black Ops 2, we uh, we saw a ton of patches with balances and everything, and they were really, really up to date on keeping everything well balanced. So I'm hoping that we don't have that issue. So getting to my number two thing that I would really love to see in Black Ops 3 would be the lag. Um, yet again, beta, can't judge it on there, but... Um, Black Ops 2, we did have a shit ton of lagging issues. So now that we're on next gen, I think that we're going to have a lot stronger servers. Um, especially since I'll be playing on, on the Xbox instead of the PS4, it's not going to be as crowded of servers. So I hope that they still keep Xbox updated and well balanced with how the PS4 is. But lag has always, always, always been an issue. And I know that it'll always be there, at least until technology's gotten to the point where we have no lag. Um, but that's not anytime soon. So I hope that they do improve on the lag a little bit. Um, but that, that's my number two. That's actually a pretty big thing. <laughs> so my number one thing that I want to see in Black Ops 3 is solid guns. As of right now, we only have, I believe, four guns available. And that is the KRM, uh, 262. That's a shotgun and it is completely overpowered. Oh my God. <laughs> And uh, we have the CUDA submachine gun, another very overpowered gun. Uh, the ARK-7, it's an automatic assault rifle. I actually haven't had a chance to use that. Um, and the BRM LMG, it's, a, uh, it's an auto and it has great damage and recoil. Now, I've only been able to use the KRM and the CUDA. And from what I've seen so far, 
they're very, very overpowered. So I, I assume they're going to scale back some of the guns that overperformed a lot of the other uh, guns in the beta. So I expect to see some nerfs throughout this uh, this list of guns that have already been been on the beta. But yeah, I really hope that they stay really solid. I hope that pistols actually get to play a pretty big uh, part in this. I think pistols have always kind of been like the bastard akimbo weapon that no one ever uses. Um, so I hope that pistols do make a, a big return in there, especially since I'm going to start using some secondaries and I hate launchers. So there you go. Um, other than that, I really want to see submachines kind of take back over. Uh, I mostly use assault rifles in advanced warfare and I feel that that's mostly because the maps are a lot larger and uh, the maps seem to be pretty small as I said before here so submachine guns should be pretty OP so what do you guys think what's your top five things that you want to see in Black Ops 3 please leave a comment down below and as always guys if you liked the video please leave a like rating and YouTube I will see you soon